Hello, it is Alexi, and I'm super excited to finally bring you my recipe for my chocolate sourdough bread, which is a variation on my everyday easy sourdough bread, which by the way is one of my most popular recipes with almost 3,000 views. I absolutely love this chocolate bread and really do not make it enough. It is so delicious with Nutella or runny nut butter and banana. I will also be uploading today my honey, walnut and oat sourdough, equally delicious. So look out for that. Okay, let's get right into it. I will link the exact ingredients and measurements in the description box below. Of course, we start with a beautiful bubbly starter, which I fed last night. And if you are wondering, maybe you are new to this, how do you know is your starter good to use? This is the test. Drop a spoonful in some water, and if it floats on the top, then you're good to go. So Bridget Bardo, that is my starter's name, <laughs> was perfect this morning, beautiful and bubbly. And all we need is half a cup. As this is a chocolate sourdough, we will need a little bit of sugar. And also make sure that you use a good quality cocoa a nice rich dark cocoa one that is unsweetened that is full of beautiful flavor because this will really make a difference to your bread if you are going to spend all this time making sourdough use a good flour and Eureka is one of the better flours on the market here in South Africa so this is optional, but I decided to add in a few walnuts and it was really, really beautiful in the spread. So once you have incorporated all the flour well, you're then going to do your stretch and folds. And I have not videoed that, but I am going to refer you to my easy everyday sourdough recipe where you can see how this is done and how the gluten develops, how the dough changes. After the stretch and folds, you will leave it for a long proof. Mine took about eight hours and this is how it looked. All puffy and jiggly and beautiful and ready to be shaped. And our hard work is completed and we just need to now score the bread and this creates a weak point in the bread and we're telling the bread where we want it to expand. I baked it for 25 minutes covered and then a further 10 minutes uncovered and the smell when it came out the oven was so so good. It was so hard not to cut it straight away. So this is sourdough and complicated. It really does not need to be complicated. And I hope that you will give one of my recipes a try. Don't forget the other recipe that will be uploaded today for the honey, walnut 
an oat, which is absolutely beautiful. A really, really lovely bread as well. And if you are a lover of breads, check out my Italian breads, especially my focaccia, which is my m most viewed recipe with over 5,000 views. And it is a beautiful recipe, and I know some of you have made it and absolutely loved it. So I hope you're enjoying all the breads that I have been uploading. There are many more recipes to follow and a beautiful Easter focaccia which will be coming in the next week or two. So please subscribe and don't miss out.